A tank contains two liquids, half of which has specific gravity of 1.2 and the other half has specific gravity of 1.5. A metal spear with radius of 200 millimeters and specific gravity of 7.4 is submerged such that the half of the spear is in the liquid and the other half and the other half is in the uh, another liquid okay with specific gravity of 1.5 okay so ito yon okay we have two liquids here uh, with specific gravity of 1.2 and specific gravity of 1.5 and the metal spear is in that liquid so, such that the half of which is in the specific gravity dito sa below and half is nasa itaas. Okay? Ito yun. And that one has SG of 7.4. So, masyadong mabigat. Okay? And the buoyant force na hinahanap for number one, evaluate the buoyant force acting uh, on the spear in newtons. So, take note that iba-iba yung liquid natin. So, we must consider... Um, either of the sides of the liquid. Okay, so we have FV1 due to this liquid dito sa itaas and FV2 due to the liquid uh, below. Okay, so first I will just compute the uh, volume of the um, ating spear. Okay, so take note, we have the weight of the spear here. Okay, so I will just first compute the volume of that sphere. So recall this uh, formula for our volume, 4 thirds pi r cubed. So, the radius here is 200 millimeters, so converted to meters. So, this is the volume of the sphere in cubic meters. Okay? So, the total volume, I mean the total buoyant force acting on that sphere is just FB1 plus FB2. Okay? By just gamma li of liquid times volume, we can just calculate that. Okay? So the gamma of this liquid above here, that is SG1.2 times the the gamma of the water times that volume. So, 0.5 of that volume na lang. Of course, half yung nakasubmerge sa kanya. Then, the FB2 is the gamma of that liquid, 1.5, times the gamma of the water, times half pa rin ng volume of the spear. Okay? So, ito yung total buoyant force natin. For number 2, obtain the tension in newtons of the cable to keep the spear in this condition. Okay, so, uh, first... Um, we should investigate no if saan ilalagay yung tension but kung ma-imagine nyo dapat dito yung tension no kasi napakabigat ng ating um, sphere kung mas mabigat yung sphere sa ating buoyancy that means magsasubmerge yan um, throughout no up until to the depth of this liquid okay okay i just summarized the total volume i mean total buoyant force here okay inisa ko na lang sila now First, let me calculate the total weight of that object. Okay, gamma times volume of object. Then, we have the specific gravity. Okay, I just substituted the uh, values. Ito yung weight. Now, as you can see, the weight is very much bigger than the buoyant force. Okay, to, to maintain this in this position, dapat mag-add tayo ng supporting tension dyan sa itaas. Klaro? Okay, by just equating this, the tension... Uh, minus the weight plus the buoyant force equate natin to zero. That is to maintain the equilibrium. Okay? So by this, we have the weight and we have the buoyant force. Then we can just calculate our tension, our needed tension to maintain this position. Okay? For number three, if the liquid is all water, determine the buoyant force in newtons on the sphere. Okay? So mas madali na siya. Yan, pinalitan natin all throughout water na yan. Okay, so gamma times the liquid, uh, gamma of the liquid times the volume of submerged. Then, substitute the gamma of the liquid since that is water um, in newtons, 9810 times the volume of submerged that is total volume of the um, sphere in that one. Okay, claro. Actually, this is a CE board exam. Okay, passboard CE. Okay, another example. A stone weighs 500 newtons in air and 350 newtons in a liquid having specific gravity of 0.86. Okay, so determine the following. The volume of the stone in cubic meters, the specific gravity of the stone, the unit weight of the stone in kilonewtons per cubic meter. Okay, that one. If this is the stone, 
initially it says that the weight of the stone in air is 500 newtons okay so itong weight ng air i mean the weight of the stone at the air that is just simply the actual weight of that stone okay klaro now yung sinasabi dito na weight ng stone in the liquid okay look at this that one um, is this possible? Mag-iiba yung weight niya? Weight of the stone in the liquid is naging 350 newtons na lang. Uh, that has specific gravity of 0.86. So, how is this possible na magbabago yung weight natin? Okay, so ganito yan. Balik ko ha. Initially, we have the weight of that um, stone. That is the actual weight. Okay? Pag nag-submerge na yan sa liquid, okay, actually hindi yan magbabago yung weight ng ating stone. Ang yung sinasabi dito, the, the weight of the stone in the liquid is the um, net weight. Kumbaga, because of this buoyant force, magle-less yung ating net weight. Kaya, that weight of the, I mean, weight of the stone in the liquid is just the net weight or the net um, force dito. Kumbaga, that is just the weight, the actual weight of that stone minus the buoyant force. Yan yung sinasabi niyang weight of the stone at the liquid. Okay, klaro ba? Kaya naging maliit yung weight niya dyan because of that buoyant force. So by this, we can just simply say that the weight at the liquid is just the weight at the, at the air minus that buoyant force. Okay, so we can just simply calculate our volume here. Okay, we have the weight, uh, take note no, that the buoyant force is gamma times volume. Okay, dito pa lang makikita na natin yung volume ng ating stone dyan. Okay, so substitute, we have the weight at the liquid, that one, we have the weight at the air, then buoyant force is gamma of the liquid times the volume of the stone. Okay, fully submerged siya. So 0.86, this is one, times the gamma of the water, times the volume. And ito yung volume natin. Okay, for part 2, the specific gravity of the stone. So madali na lang, specific gravity Okay, so take note that the weight of the, at the air is equals to gamma of the stone times the volume of the stone. Okay, so again, weight at the air, ito yung actual weight ng stone. Kaya gagamitin natin to. Okay, so take note that we have the volume of the stone. So by cross multiplying that, we can just solve our um, gamma of the ST. But take note that gamma of the stone is just SG of that stone times gamma of water. No? Then we can just simply calculate yung required problem, uh, specific gravity of the stone. Okay, klaro man siguro. Okay, for number three, the unit weight of the stone in kilonewtons per cubic meter. So unit weight, ito yun, itong hinahanap dito. Or we can just simply say that that is gamma of the stone over the gamma of water. Okay, that is the specific gravity gamma of the stone times gamma of water. So, unit weight, ito yung inahanap dito. So, by this, we have the specific gravity. Uh, cross multiply natin yan. Or just substitute. And we have the unit weight of the stone. Or actually, we can um, calculate this directly dito pa lang. Okay? Dito. Then, I cross multiply natin yan. It's up to you. Um, paglaroan nyo lang yung ating formulas.